All right. I am here. And... I am also here. Apparently, you can just clone characters as much as you want, which <laughs> makes this really easy uh, to suddenly have Shell join the series for a little while at least. It's a rainy day, and I wanted to see how the co-op would work. And so I... I I harangued, I cajoled, I begged, and she really just kind of... I finally relented, but yeah. only just... It didn't actually take a whole lot of effort, so press in left stick. Left stick? Yep. Do I really have to create new? Uh, try bumpers? There you go. Oh, okay. So I uh, not this. that one. Other one. Wait, so we're both being this character? Uh, maybe? Uh, I try thought this get. Was, I thought this was keep, the character that I was. Keep going with the bumpers, because they're. You should be able to make a clone of it. But I think. Yeah, there you go. There's, there's the one. We'll get. We'll get you in different armor immediately. But I'm a guy, aren't I? Uh, no, no. If you notice, you've got the kind of weird hobo shorts that the blue-haired chick wears. Oh, so you cloned your gear onto the female character that I chose. Well, you can change the skin whenever you want. Press Y. Y. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, so you are never locked to your starting skin. Hopefully, eventually, they well, let so us that, have custom skins. Well, that is what I have, then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that, that so just sense. press A, and we are going to twinsies, uh, at least until we get some better gear. I don't also, know. Also, why do you have so many numbers after your WandaBot name? Uh, I... Is don't... This, is this what it assigned you? Yeah. Okay, so how do I attack... A to attack. Okay. And then, if you notice in the bottom right, you have, uh, those are your stats in the bottom right. Okay, so potion would be left bumper. Yep. Right trigger would be Bow arrows. And arrow. Yep. And it looks like we have a limited supply. Yeah, though we get plenty of arrows, so What's I wouldn't worry why? about it too what, much. What is that grain? Uh, so that summons the... Oh, it summons the alpaca llama. Is it? Yeah, what is it? It's a llama. It's a llama. Okay. And then the meat, the dog okay. meat summons the dog, and then the X is a heal. It will heal whoever is most injured of the two of us. Now is that their HP, or does it deplete over time? Uh, no, the the bar above them is their HP. However, they have very short cooldowns, so you pretty much do not have to worry about ever not having your summons. Yep. So now we just have a small crew. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. And you can also check if you want to switch your gear around, uh, and you don't want to do your dogs. Uh, Wait, so there's flaming quiver. What are the other quivers? So we have flaming quivers. We also have torment quivers, which use the soul resource, which is the weird scream face meter right next to your level. Oh, interesting. Uh, that is your soul meter. The more of those you have, the more ammo you have. Do you acquire souls by killing just, creatures? Yeah, just killing things. Music is a bit too loud. Yeah, I bet they, I bet they turned it up or something. I was noticing that on the main menu. I can hear the llama spitting. You might hear some dog noises. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to turn these down. I'm sure they are changing some of the settings around specifically for, uh, for launch. And so we have to deal with it. Okay. So hopefully we'll get some new equipment fairly quickly so we can look different. Mm -hmm. uh, I... I wish I still had some, but I do not. Okay. Uh, so... Oh! They actually... Oh, no, they haven't locked it off. Um, I think the Desert Temple is fine, but I don't think we can do either of these two levels. Currently. Okay. Uh, but we can do everything else. So... Oh. Okay, that's, that's just Desert Temple. We also have... I wanted to look at this. This doesn't really matter too much. Balanced for first playthrough. Yeah, so the, this, enemies none right of these towards. actually seem to change anything. It's just more enemies. But it looks like the medium difficulty had new gear and artifacts. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to beat the beat the boss before we can actually go to those. Ah. And I should double check real quick. There's an embargo on covering the last two levels and then the secret level, which I'm not allowed to talk about beyond ex its existence. Uh but we're not allowed to to play either of those, I think, up until launch day. Uh, but it could be wrong. It seems like you have a lot, an awful lot of check marks on all of these. So yeah, I've completed all them? these other levels. All uh, right. So what do you want to do? Do you want to just start from the beginning, crank up the difficulty, go from there? Sure. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the tutorial. I guess we do not want to do that one. Creeper Woods is decent, though. And that'll be that. 
I'm just going to very quickly double check to see if we have access to... Okay. Spoilers. Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, interesting. So we are actually allowed to. We we are allowed to finish this if we so chose. Uh, we won't. But apparently the whole spoiler policy is completely optional. That's kind of nice. Anyway, I guess so let's why just... why even write it in the first place? I, I think they want you to use a, a spoiler warning. This is uh... very much a, a, uh, a game for younger people. And... So, as such, they kind of want to preserve that, that new game wonder for as many people as possible. By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers, or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. Okay, so that's a little loud. I'll turn it down a bit. Are illagers just zombies, as no. in ill villagers? Yeah, I. It's, it's a kid's game. Let's. No, but I did. That's what I'm asking, because they they talk of an empire, but all I see are so zombies in... and skeletons and undead people. So I guess uh, to reiterate what the intro cutscene was, this like one dude who is kind of a social outcast. Mm -hmm. uh, he found empire. this like orb of control. But can I hit you? No. Accidentally? Alright. If I pick this up, do you get ammo? No. I don't know. Okay. I rather like being an archer. Yep. Uh, so we'll get you some. The archery in this game is actually pretty good. Well, it looks like you don't even really. I, I don't want to say you don't have to aim, but it looks like it. So, by the way, yeah? if you want to do archery stuff, press up in your d pad. Okay. Oh, you do not actually have any of the other items. Dang. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to acquire them on my own. Yeah, because uh, I was going to say the uh, the flaming quivers that I have are actually really good for uh, archery because it makes it so you don't use ammo for like X number of shots, uh, which is quite nice. There's a lot of these guys now. I do not like seeing them through the world, actually. I, I mean, so you know they're there, but there's a lot of them. It just makes a lot of... It's a lot of visual yeah, noise, yeah. noise, that's what I was going to say. There's not a whole lot of points where you actually have to worry about that. You should probably also summon your minions. Oh, right. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some hunter gear around here and you can... Uh, and you can get more ammo. Because it actually makes it so you are able to have, um, have? Whoa. Yeah, uh, that was a TNT block on the ground. Uh, but if you get the hunter armor, you actually get to get more ammo drops, which is quite nice. Oh, I guess the, uh, cooldown on the dogs is much higher if they've died. I can tell you've already gone into focus mode. Sorry, it's just that... You're going far ahead. There was a villager back there that we needed to free. That's okay. He's not in any mortal peril. Oh, so interesting. So I have to manually pick up bundles and stuff by the looks of it. Yep. So yeah, you just go up to... Does he have a scuba mask on? I don't... That or he's a blacksmith. It might may have been... I guess. It just looks like he had a scuba mask, which is really silly looking. Let's see. So we can press that to turn on a map. So if you There's want to see the map, just press here. down on the D-pad. Yep. Some sheep. You can eliminate them. Oh no, I, them. Didn't, I didn't mean to hit the sheep. Finish the job. Poor sheep. Well then, really, what are these creatures then? Uh, because so, they look like zombies and undead. So, uh, sorry, I didn't finish reiterating the um. So there was that the cutscene. Outcast. So there's the arch illager who effectively is the the emperor or whatever, and he uh he finds this orb of control, I guess. So then he can control the undead. Yeah, so he is more or less just 
started controlling all of the monsters, all of the undead. Plus, he's got his own private army. Oh, well, there's the hunter armor. Did you pick it up? Can you give it to me, or is it yours forever? We'll find out in a second. <laughs> My poor dog is just covered in arrows. Uh, there's some wolf. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I can't. It's a reserve drop. Huh. So I actually can't pick that one up. Let's see. Oh. Here's the thing. A secret? Let's see if I can drop it. No, it looks like it can only... Have I acquired anything of my own? Press up? Nope, doesn't look like it. it Weird. That is... I really hope it's not an instance where I'm just a glorified well, addition worse, and you're getting all the worse gear. Worse comes to worse. Uh, we finished this mission and I equipped the other gear that I've just picked up. Onto a new character. Well, yeah. And then we clo clone me again. And... Ah. That's interesting. You snuffed out a candle and, of course... Summons a monster as you... This hammer is real good. Mm-hmm. Alright, there you go. There. So you get some wolf armor, some TNT, right. and that's an axe <laughs> That's a me. lot of TNT. Now, how do I actually use the TNT? Uh, just uh, come up here. Yeah? Uh, when you see the next enemies, uh, right trigger and you'll just throw it at them. So, stand at the edge, and there you go. Oh, one got over. That's yeah, fine. Good enough. I really like this hammer. I had a dagger yesterday that made it so that, uh, ow. There's an awful lot of flames over here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, you know, in like Diablo or whatever, you, oh, we missed a treasure chest. Uh, in Diablo and stuff, there would always be those enemies that were slightly stronger and they had like special effects. Same deal in this one. Uh, so in that case, those were enemies that created, uh, that set things on fire around them. We're speaking of, we have that ability, actually. Oh, the nice. orange circle that is, uh, surrounding us. Uh, that specifically does well, wait, what damage is that, to nearby enemies. What is that amulet, then? Is that it? No, no, the amulet is a heal. Oh, okay. There's some more wolf armor for you. If it's outlined in, in, in teal. teal, it's for you. Yep. Let's see what we have around here. More Not too much. Yeah, this is just like a little micro dungeon, uh, mainly to unlock the dungeon uh, tile set, because the, uh, the dungeon is like the first side zone. Is there a sprint? No. Okay. There, There is an item that will give you a speed boost, but... I found it awfully suspicious that one of those braziers was um, completely snuffed out. Uh, I wonder if it would have been part of a puzzle. There are secrets and puzzles. I, I think there was a. I think that was a puzzle that we may have had to relight it. Uh, I think we can go back in there. Can we? Yeah. Give me a second. I have to explode sheep. Uh, let's see. I guess small, not important tactic stuff, but skeletons and any ranged enemies will try and run away from you. Uh, I have no arrows. I'm I'm sad. Yeah, at least you got a good hammer. That's very true. Okay. But I want to go back in. Okay. Uh, but yeah, skeletons will run away from you, so that's especially when you want to do yeah, archery. Yeah, you see, this brazier over here is not lit. Oh. Is it possible to light it with your fire? Unless arrows? that's where you. Th oh, that's what you hit with the TNT. No. Yeah. The TNT was all the way back. Oh, I mean, it could yeah, have been. Yeah, I, I bet you put it out with the TNT, because it would have been right there. Oh. Yeah. Um, mm. I I know there is a secret in, like, every level and some other stuff, but I haven't been very good at finding them. What's up with this? Why is there an arrow over here? Oh, is that the entrance? Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's just a quest marker to show us how to get out. Okay. You know how we usually when we're playing Diablo likes and we get super lost and just kind of wander aimlessly <laughs> until we find the ex the exit. Uh, this one actually says like, "Hey, go this way." Uh, Do we want to go back to the the other exit or continue on this one? Uh, and there's no jumping. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Correct. No. Okay. There's like a little bit of verticality. You will walk up single blocks, but there's no jumping or anything like that. 
seems like everything's already injured, as though we've already come through the Yeah, area. we did. You can kind of see on the map, the areas we've been through are uh, clear. There's the areas we haven't been through and haven't seen are darker, so we want to go this way and follow that little arrow. So the dog there noise is too much. I don't know. For context, our neighbors have put their dogs outside a lot recently, and boy, they are loud and constant. We had issues with them last year where it was for hours yeah. on end. And, and then we had like half a year of just absolute blissful peace. And then it's back to dogs. But that's not, that's not it, Minecraft. It has permanently tarnished Ow. my perception of almost all dogs. Reaper and I bait. used to be a dog lover. But not anymore. Reaper bait, you're supposed to do your job. I don't know if I've been back here. Nope, nothing here. So is, is the only other Diablo like I've ever played with you specifically? Uh, we have, we've played a number of them. We played Diablo three. Oh yeah, we did play Grim Dawn, and we tried playing Path of Exile. There are, there are others too that are very similar. I mean, Torchlight we played a little bit of Gauntlet. What other things? I don't. Yeah, I guess I would count Gauntlet. Gauntlet was. Oh, weird. that one was blowing up. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Remember, you have a heal. You have your potion. Uh. Yeah, I would I would recommend saving your ammunition specifically to shoot creepers. Because you can hit them in melee and then you can shoot them real quick. I don't have any arrows though. There we, there's some arrows. These are lies. Oh, does the llama spit at things? Yes. It's a ranged unit! I didn't notice! Yeah, look at them. Look at ah. those little goobers. This is goobing at things. Oh, that's magic. I, I knew they were supposed to spit, but I didn't realize that was their primary tactic. <laughs> so are you having too much trouble uh, identifying yourself versus me or nah? No, I, I prefer if there was a little bit more of a distinction between our characters aside from the P2 and... Well, if you want to press up on the D-pad, you can switch to the wolf armor. Shouldn't we snuff out this candle? Oh, yeah. How do we do that? I don't know. No, I accidentally used up another healing item. How did you snuff out the first candle? I didn't? Unless it was because it was a pedestal that it was on and it was selectable. I, uh... You see, now this is a brazier that's out, and I didn't do anything with it. Yeah. I mean, I know there are secrets. I know there are puzzles. I haven't figured out any of them, mainly because I've just been... Do you have I've a flaming arrow? You, ha longer. You, you have the flaming quiver. I do have flaming quiv quivers. Okay. Now I have to wait for that. Because uh, there's a though. number of these, see? Here we go. That have been put out. I wish I didn't have to waste my heal on my summons. It's a little grim, I realize. Why am I healing so much? I have no idea. Hey, we got an enchantment point. So unlike every other uh, Diablo-like we've ever played. Uh, oh yeah, it's up. Sorry, I'm just slow. Because you have the frightened... Nope. Maybe if we need a torch or another means to light it? I don't know. There's also firework arrows and a couple other things. Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay, uh, let's see. So do we have anything of any immediate necessary use? Not really on my end. Can I look at my gear at the moment? Yep, so press up on your D-pad. So I... Ooh. Put on the wolf armor. So I probably the green one is better. Yep. Rarity. <laughs> and right. uh, okay, so go to the orange armor. What was that? Oh. You're just armor. sorting between tabs. If you go to the one on the far left, it just shows you everything. So that's a unique. So yeah. That's really good. It is really good, but it's actually a lower level than the wolf armor that you've got on. Mm -hmm. So it's not actually that much better. 
The only real difference is, do you see the uh, hexagon that says potion use boost defense? Yeah. I think that's honestly the only real difference between uh, that quality and the other one, like that, that special effect. Okay. And uh, then what do you want me to do? So press X. This will salvage it ah. and get you your three enchantment points back. So you're now back up to six. Should I'd I salvage those salvage two those as well. well. Yeah, they're not great. And then we'll get you some emeralds. And so go back to your wolf armor that you're currently using. So press left twice yeah. there. So press Y when selected on that one. So here's the enchanting menu. You have... Oh, reduced cooldown. Yeah, you have two out of three potential enchantments that you have access to. 0.3 health regain and range and melee damage. When it, when it full health. Full when it full health. Keep going to the right. You've got another set of three. So you pick one from each of those, but each costs Snowball. one enchantment point. Triggers every five seconds. Yes, yeah, so you'll just stun enemies. Mm. And that Being makes hit it... By damage inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows. Which so... is probably what you want. Yeah. I just wish I also had the ability to fling snowballs. The snowballs aren't that great. Every 30th projectile, though? But you can get it down to every 10th. Yeah. So every every ten arrows you get ten arrows. So just press A a bunch. Oh, like, you just want me to? Yeah, there are three this? tiers. You might as well if you like archery, go for archery. All right. And you don't need those other ones yet. There you go. So now we stand out a little bit, slightly different. Still gray though, silvery. Oh, we never actually did go all the way to the end of this. We were too busy trying to put out the weird green candle. What's down here? That's where the weird green candle is. Uh, that's is. the weird green candle, yes. Yep. Well, yeah, I think it was because we were trying to figure out whether or not we could light the braziers. Aha! Oh! So you got a slightly better bow, uh, but it is not a unique crossbow, so up to you on that one. Okay. I can keep with what I have at the moment. Is there a way to get to the other side of the chasm? Uh, no. So if you notice on the map, those ah. are the... Oh, wait, what's the exclamation point? Uh, that is the entrance. Ah, spider! Yeah. So that, that's how we get out. Bread. Yum, bread. I guess I have played a lot with you. I guess we've just never finished a whole lot of Diablo likes together. Mm-hmm. Though, to be fair... Many of them are either very long or... Very repetitive. repetitive. Mm -hmm. That's that's something I always get kind of stuck on. I'm fine with a game being repetitive. If, if there's a story to push it through. Yeah. If there's a really solid story to push it through that you're, like, I mean, I was there to. with you also for... What was that one? That you ended up playing on your own? Where you are raised by that one general and you have your two siblings but one of oh, them. Oh, that was that was the one that uh, Wilson, Lords of Mayhem. Wilson, yeah. Yeah. I didn't play that on my own because I wanted to. I played that on my own because the servers were just absolutely skunked. Yeah, we had tried playing it together. But... That was a fun game. I wouldn't mind trying to like uh, get a group of friends together at some point to like jam through it. Once they've Does it added some more that they content. they would still add more to it? Uh, they're adding more content to the game. Mm -hmm. So. But there's a lot of other Diablo likes that are kind of in the same. Hmm. Anything around here? Same vein. Maybe not. Oh, that's interesting. The wolf helmet, or. I mean, it seems to have a purple glow to the eyes. Oh, yeah. No, you straight up have, like, flaming eyes. Mm hmm. Creepy. Do you think it would be hard to see through? Like, well, I think my face is actually beneath it. That's on my on the top of my head. I know, but okay, I guess. The only thing that would possibly impede my vision would be the canines that are slowly, like, well, not slowly, but ones that are descending from yeah, the hanging down. Muzzle. I guess I'm just always thinking back to those, like, um. Oh, so those ones look scary. They're enchanted creepers. Uh, oh, wait, why did I get teleported you, to them? You probably hit the right stick. You might have jumped. I did not hit the right stick. Well. And now I'm nearly dead. There we go. Well, you also have your potion. Oh, I should use potions. Yeah. Potion will heal you straight to full. Oh. And then the other stuff will heal our pets. 
Not that it matters too much. Now that I did not use the right stick. I have I don't believe I've used the right stick at all. All I saw was that you're Oh, you know what? I bet the creeper pulled you back. That's what I was I thinking. Bet, I bet that was his special ability. Yeah, I don't have any arrows. Whatever happened to that recharge? You have to get hit by projectiles. Oh. Well then what's the point of it? Uh you get hit by a fair bit of projectiles. Oh, I can't use that. Wow, oh, there's more hunter well, this armor mob for does me. not have... Yeah, it doesn't have any projectiles. Well, rest in peace, alpaca. There we go. Hopefully we can get you some flaming arrows after this. I'm thinking, um... I just need the ability to acquire arrows. Well, the flaming arrows uh, are free. Now, these ones free. look like they are all capable of exploding. There's some arrows. There we go, finally. Because it's terrible being an archer and then being incapable of actually using the bow that you have. Yeah. I try and reserve some of my ammo. That's another wolf armor for you. I try and reserve... A, uh, let's go back down here. Seeing as we want to explore everything. Rip. But yeah, I, I try and save my arrows for when I need them. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think we'll get we'll try and get you some uh, new abilities specifically. Ah, 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 ah. That was that was scary. What I do is I hit him with a hammer and then immediately shoot them. It saves mm -hmm. a little bit of ammo and usually is a solid two shot. See, I'm almost out of it. Arrows now. I guess I should use more of my flaming quivers. Back this way. I do not remember this level being that big, but I think I went through it quick because I just wanted to get to the end. It's also very meandering. And you just get all the emeralds. I get it. See anything over no, here? Doesn't, no, it doesn't look like it's right over it's there. It's okay. So if you were to make a Diablo-like, what would you do? To change up the yeah, dynamics Yeah, the formula. Because this one does a couple of things differently, and I've been kind of comparing and contrasting for people. Um. I mean... Mm, first off, I like the idea of having pets, but I would like pets that are customizable. Mm. I've always been a fan of having like a specially tailored companion animal or spirit so or creature. if half of it was actually, like, if you could customize your character, but also your pet. Mm -hmm. Or pets. Yeah. Because, it, in a way, it's almost like party members. But if the party members are an extension of you, or via the story, some kind of, like, That's everyone, for you. everyone has some kind of spirit creature or animal that they can summon at will. It just, that'd be a cool feature to have. I'd be down with that. And another thing too, I mean, definitely a lot of story. I prefer when there's, what? Ooh, 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 ooh. Did I die? Or am I going to die if I fall in the water? Oh, well. Yeah, go in the water. You might have to roll. There you go. There you go. Does that use up a life or something? No, it just hurts a little bit. Okay. Yeah, if you stray too far from each other. I definitely would like that fine-tuned control. I'd actually, uh, one other major feature that I'd look for is something this game has. Uh, we haven't really messed around with it, but the... Whenever you played any of the Diablo likes, did any of the weapons ever really matter to you? I think the problem was, so many of them were... Uh, as soon as you acquired one, you would find something better. Or if you found something that was of a better rating, it often didn't have the, you know, same ice abilities or the things that you had fallen in love with earlier with a, a weaker weapon. And I would really prefer that you can take components of existing weapons that you have and take the components out of them and then apply them to new weapons. Oh, so find. like if you could pull the enchantments out of the weapons that we currently have and move them over to the next one? That actually would be nice. Yeah, if, if instead of finding gear, you just found various side grades and then could... Uh, you should heal up, by the way. Yep. Ah! Watch Why? Out. Sorry. Why would you do that? 
Oops. <laughs> I just, I didn't like it hovering above my head. So you threw it at me. <laughs> this is the worst hot potato. Oh, hey, money. Yeah, I could get behind that. I think the one problem is... Because I, I really enjoyed when we were playing, say, World of Warcraft Legion, having those epic weapons that... Well, not they weren't necessarily epic grade, but they were the legendary weapons. Being able to upgrade them. Oh, no! Don't hug the creepers. I, can I forgot that back they up. explode. So don't revive yourself. Okay. I'll pick you up in a second. Night is here. Mo more mobs are spawning. Oh, I didn't realize that. Interesting. That's easy. Summon your dog. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if it's uh, more mobs spawn specifically because you went down. Because it, I don't see that message anymore, or maybe we were just taking too long. I don't know. It, it did Air say that night had arrived. Let's see. Clanging sound effects are loud compared to shell. Oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, they they changed how sound effects work, and uh, so I'm gonna be on the back foot trying to fix everything. But no, I just, I like customization as opposed to just gear grinding. I would rather be able to upgrade and customize the gear that I have than constantly find Oh, all yeah. I, I love the idea of leveling gear. So few games actually have, like, levelable gear in any kind of substantive manner. I'm going to yoink us over ah! here. Uh, that supplies chest has more arrows in it. I want this book to have lore, and that's another thing I want. In my game, there would be tons of lore to find. Too much lore. Like, cause this, no this should be a diary from someone that lived here. And you'd be able to learn more about the, you know, the coming of the Illagers and maybe even find the, okay, fine, we'll open this. Red for me, arrows for you, odd words. But yes, there'd have to be tons of lore, tons of customization. And I do like diverging plots where it it's not the illusion of choice, where your choices actually do make an impact on the outcome yeah, of the I would story. Rather, I would rather have a game that has like three choices that really matter than like 300 choices that don't. Mm -hmm. You know, people were really big on Mass Effect and like choices, but uh, I was reading an article a little while ago about how like what they ninety percent of the player base just didn't, just did not. Well, actually, what would be good, what would be interesting is remember how Telltale Games had a percentage that told you what were the most common choices Ooh. that people actually. Ooh. Huh? What? You found Firebrand burns mobs. Spin Ooh. attack move. Well, you found an axe. And it's a good axe. Uh, get out of here, cool hammer. I loved you, but you're gone now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, poison cloud, thundering, leeching, chains, echo, smiting. Oh. Oh, you don't like the upgrades? That no, it has? no, no, no. This first set is amazing. I'd love to have thundering cloud, and thundering, leeching. leeching. Okay, well, what do you want your fiery weapon to have as well? How fast is this attack? That's pretty nice. You do a slash, you do a yeah, slash, I do a and spin then you do a spin. Move, spin move at the end. Uh... Can I? Are you are you deciding what you're gonna upgrade? I, I'm trying to decide here. Yeah. Because then I want to see what I've acquired as well. So oh, poison has thirty percent chance to summon a poison cloud. That deals. Okay, so that thirty percent. Oh, wait, is it really just poison cloud, lightning field, and... Yeah, so this does lightning chain strike. lightning. Yeah. That damages enemies. But that's... For three seconds, seven... Uh, yeah, seven damage per second. Is, though, is the electricity instantaneous? Yeah. 
So technically the poison cloud is better than thundering. Maybe. But does it stack? Yeah, I guess I've done electricity recently, so I'll, I'll do that. What was the, the blood one, though? Uh, it's just lifesteal. So, like, if I kill an enemy. Okay, can I see what my stuff is? Is this better? The power is down, but the speed is up. Uh, no, well, the power, the power is up. Uh, sort of. Um, so the, the crossbow that you currently have does a five arrow spread shot. Oh, and has a chance power. to ricochet. Um, whereas the uh, this bow does not have any of those things, but it does more damage, and it has new enchantments. If you want to take a look at them, press Y. See what you want. So that makes the arrow get bigger. Uh, oh, replenish an arrow after shooting. Yeah, so you could get that up to a 50% chance to just not use ammo. Which That's sounds pretty good for you. Nice. That does, deal more damage. Which is actually really good. Increases your attack speed. Yeah, multi-shot. Five arrows at once. And then increases the attack speed for each consecutive shot, but resets one second after the attack. Nah. Mm. I... I don't know. I would say get rid of the get rid of the crossbow. Like this game is gear treadmill. Just live the new things. You're gonna have to recycle the previous one if you want to get your enchant enchanting this points one back, one? though. Yeah. Okay, so that's X salvage. Got all that back. Yep. So go this for the. This is probably worse, and that's worse. Yeah, all of those are worse. worse. So I, just, I just salvage them. Yeah, just salvage them. You don't have to think too hard. We get a lot of good stuff fairly quickly, so it's not a big deal. All right. So nope. You're, I, uh, there you go. Oh no, I don't want to salvage. I want to. Top one. Why? Okay. So I, I want to get the infinity yeah, arrows. Just max that out. And you don't have enough for anything else, but that's okay. Hopefully that'll. Wow, you have a lot more arrows now. Wait, what? You have 160. How? Uh, equipping a new bow, maybe? Maybe. Don't look that gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Because it's filled with arrows, and that's concerning. Excuse I love sick. seeing myself fire multiple arrows and only have a couple of them. Actually yeah, actually get cost. Deducted. Yeah, and if we can get you the uh, hunter armor next, mm -hmm. that makes it so you get double regular arrow drops. I'm liking this. Oh, that one's being healed by some kind of mage. Yeah, yeah. There's enchanters. Okay, dig in the dig in the poison cloud. I gotta be a little careful not to pick up your. Oh, this supplies. guy's big. Yep. Big, big, big. What was this? like a slab of meat that I picked Oh, up. yeah. Yeah, enemies will drop meat occasionally. That's that gives you, gross. like, a fast heal. Uh, I, look, we are They're just... They're humanoid creatures. We are just man manly block people that don't care about parasites or proper food preparation. Kind of cannibalism, we, we just pick up meat off the ground and then just shove it into our blocky faces. Speaking of meat, do you want to tell the story of what we got today? Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, it's not really much of a story, but... Uh, so, because there's been meat shortages and whatnot, we've been eating a lot of plant-based meats. Namely, like, Beyond Burgers and Awesome Burgers yeah, and sausages uh, right and before things. locked at... Uh, ah! 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 The dungeon crashed! It's dead! The dungeon process has crashed. UE4 Dungeons. We are well, very sorry that this, this crash This is made and unreal. That's cool. Our goal is to prevent crashes like this from occurring in the future. Please help us track down and fix crashes by providing detailed information about what you are doing so that we may reproduce the crash and fix it. As Wait. Minecraft Dungeons is scared of my meat stories. What? <laughs> Wander. No. That is not That is not a proper explanation. Maybe it was... I better... I hope that my... my my bow saved because yeah, I it loved did. it. It uh I've actually had this like freeze and crash on me a couple of times. Uh it saves constantly. 